Hey Pirate fans, Cindy Babick for the Pirate Sports Network out here at Mike Shepard Senior Stadium, the home of Seton Hall Baseball. The Pirates are just about ready to kick off their 2024 season at the Swig and Swine Classic down in South Carolina on February 16th. But before the first pitch is thrown out, let's take a look how the squad has been shaping up throughout the offseason. Out of 15 total available spots on the Big East All-Conference roster, the Pirates secured three preseason All-Big East selections. Senior shortstop, Max Vieira. In his first season with the Pirates last year, he hit 319 with 17 doubles and five home runs, with a total of 46 RBIs. Vieira is also a threat on the bases, as he snagged 23 bags out of 26 attempts. Also a reliable and consistent shortstop with a 963 fielding percentage. Redshirt senior outfielder, Devin Hack. Hack hit 313 on the 2023 season with a very impressive 409 on base percentage. He finished with the highest batting average in the conference against league opponents. Similar to Vieira, Hack was able to help his team manufacture runs by working his way around the bases. He led the team with 25 stolen bases. Out in center field, Hack established a complete no fly zone while maintaining a 1000 fielding percentage. Sophomore right handed pitcher, Ryan Reich. Reich posted a 2.51 ERA, which was second lowest on the Pirates staff. In Big East play, Reich compiled a 0.59 ERA with a 0.065 opponent batting average. Reich was a top option out of the pen for the Pirates, and most remarkably, all of this was done as just a freshman. After graduating 11 players last year, the Pirates have restocked their talent pool with 19 newcomers who are all hungry for a top spot in the Big East. Of these newcomers, five of them are pitchers. Fresh arms with a mix of speed and credible movement that blend and complement the returning arms on the team. Three are catchers. These three are dominant five-tool players with notable on-the-field leading abilities. Six are infielders. Five freshmen and one grad student, all with very impressive resumes from their previous schools that will help propel them into the big roles that they are expected to fill this year. And five are outfielders, dependable players with strong, accurate arms and respectable speed and agility that aids them to cover ground quickly. Here's what the coaching staff had to say about this year's additions. No, we're excited about the experience of the guys that we have coming in. A lot of them have some postseason post experience. A lot of them had a lot of success at their previous schools, so they've had an immediate impact, you know, not only as a players on the field, but also what they do with their work ethic off the field as well. Our current team does a really good job of bringing new players in and making them feel warm and accepted, and I think part of that acceptance is on the baseball field. When you get out on the field and you're working together and you see guys having a common goal and, and really working hard at it. Andrew Bianco is another player that gives us a lot of versatility. Played primarily as an outfielder, can play first base, but for us, it's probably more as a first baseman. Kyle Lines is another guy that had a lot of success as the defender uh, at his previous school, and we feel that he gives us somebody in the outfield that we know that can cover our um, pretty big field. And next to Devin Hack, uh, who's probably one of the premier outfielders in the conference or the country, um, given another guy like that, that that can cover a lot of ground, um, makes us uh, a lot stronger defensively. There are some freshmen on our team that are maybe middle infielders, and we've had them in inner squad play center field and left field and right field because we feel like, one, they're athletic enough, but two, they're trustworthy enough that we feel like, yeah, maybe it's not the position that you've played your whole life, but we feel like they're mature enough He's a newcomer, but he's certainly not a freshman. I think Danny Melnick has jumped in and, and really taken on like a leadership role as far as work ethic and just the way he carries himself. So, I mean, he's, he's had a great career already at a couple different schools, and he's been a really good player, but he's a guy that I think you can, you can be pretty sure of that he's going to do what he needs to do. And another guy, too, Kevin Maluski, who's a, a freshman catcher. He just, he's like A-plus work ethic, A-plus maturity, and in-game right now, he's, he's playing really well offensively and defensively, so I think they're, they're both going to have really good years. Some of our, our older grad guys that we brought in, Jackson Balzan and Nate Esplin, just bring in a lot of experience. Um, Jackson brings in a unique fastball, uh, if you look at it metrically and analytically. Um, and then, you know, the three freshmen coming in, they just, you know, they're talented, so we you know, have bright futures in front of them, and we're just looking forward to develop their talents. Last spring, the Pirates came in third place in the Big East after 13 conference wins. 
As for their 2024 preseason ranking, the Pirates were placed right behind UConn, last year's regular season champs, and Xavier, last year's Big East tournament champions. Building off last season's third place finish, the team appears poised to pick up right where they left off. But with the infusion of 19 newcomers and the presence of three All Big East selections, they are primed to challenge that ranking and take a top spot in the Big East. So stay tuned as the Pirates set sail for another thrilling season on the Diamond.